Hi guys, this is Shivariti. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I will explain one of the important concept of collections that is array list. I will explain array list using real time examples. Let us go ahead and start our Eclipse. I already started my Eclipse. I am going to create a class. I am giving class name as array list demo and I would like to have a main method in this so I selected main and click finish so basic program got created now I will explain I am going to write a code here so first one is list list equal to new array list okay now in this example initially I will show you using the uh, string object I will add to the list and uh, I will show you how to iterate through the string objects next I will explain with the user defined objects so I am going to add string values to this list it needs to be from the java.util package and list also from java.util package now I will add string object to this list that is uh, array list I'm just giving a random value as a array list one I would like to add three more values to this list so I am copy pasted okay, so this is the list two this is the list three this is the list four so now I added four elements to this list now I need to display these values how can I do so collection provide an interface called iterators iterators using this iterator we can traverse through the list objects so iterator equal to list dot iterator next once you got the iterator you need to iterate using while loop while iterator dot has next it keep on checking for if the next element present in the list or not if not the it will break the loop and it will come out so once you it find the element using iterator dot next we can get that element so in this it, that's how the implementation uh, for to uh, to do with the array list concept now i am running this program right click run as java application now when you run this program you will see output as array list 1 array list 2 array list 3 and array list 4 so these are the four string objects we added to the array list now when I'm iterating through this list I got the four elements now let us try to understand how uh, what is meant by array list and when to use this array list concept so first thing is array list, array list is dynamically global arrays that means once you by default it created a uh, size of 10 once you add 11th element the array list size is going to be uh, changed that means automatically it will increase the size of the array list that is the one feature and second one is whenever what uh, the another feature is it maintains the insertion order what it means is in which position you are inserting the value it will maintain the same position that means you are adding array list 1 2 3 4 so same sequence it will maintains the insertion order that is the another feature okay so once you have created an array list you can traverse using these iterators in the next session i will explain different type of iterators it is available in the collection but as of now once you prepare this list you can iterator and whenever it requires so the next one is 
while you are creating an array list uh, it internally uses the indexes concept like if uh, in it internally uses the arrays itself so that is the reason it maintains the index so if you want to get particular element from the particular position you can get it string let us consider value equal to list dot get of index let us consider zero if i get this value what will happen oh, sorry one second so it by default it is going to be written as a string object so you can down cast it, it okay now you can print this value system dot out dot value okay. value at zero position position and plus value okay so now i am running this program java application now see value at the position 0 is array list 1 so uh, so from this you can understand that array list internally uses the arrays concept how arrays it works it is a similar way but the only difference is it is the size of the array list can be can dynamically, dynamically change, change and, and it can it automatically, automatically grow as, as many, many uh, as, as it reaches, it reaches the, the maximum, maximum limit. limit that is that the is one the point one and next, and one, next is one is java, java uh, pro, uh, the uh, array list itself, itself it contains, contains the, the searching, searching feature, feature also. also so if, so you, if want you want to, to uh, uh, identify, identify whether a particular, particular value, value is there or not from the list you can do by using the method like contains contains method will, will be there, there. So, so by using, by using this, this one, one you can, you can do, the do the you can, you can identify, identify the particular, the particular value, value whatever, whatever you want, you want to search you can, you can identify, identify by using, by using this, this array, array list. list so it so will return, return the, the boolean, boolean value, value. So, so I am just, uh, just explaining this concept, concept so, that so that whenever, whenever you are working, working with the any the project, project you, can you can identify, identify or you can, you can uh, look for these, these type of methods, methods and you can and use you can in use your, your projects. projects. So now so when I am running this program, this program as, as array list 1 is already there in the list, it will return the true. If it is unable to identify, it will return the false. But if you remember the initial concept why I explained, collections uses internal the searching, searching sorting, sorting and, and uh, 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 updating, updating mechanism, mechanism. So, so whenever you are you using are this type of contains method, method internally it will use the algorithms and the corresponding data, data structures then, then it will, it will identify, identify the, the most, most efficient, efficient path, path and it will and try, it try to try fetch to the results the hence collections, collections are very are useful to work to to work, to work to work with, with the real-time real -time projects, projects and no need, no need to, to develop, develop the code, code at, uh, uh, for the, the these type these of type things, things. Okay? okay and the and next the concept, concept I am explaining, I am explaining is, is so far so we have we seen, have seen uh, uh, using, using the string, the string object, object added to the list, the list and then I am traversing but in but real time scenario we don't really use these type of string objects to to work with the array list the mostly, uh, mostly what, what we, we do is we have a classes and we and create a cla uh, objects, objects using, using that using class, the class and then and those then actually we add it to the list. list. Hence, Hence I will explain, I will explain using, using the real time, real -time uh, 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 class. class. Let us consider Let's I have an employee, employee class. class. So, in, so this in this class, class I would like to have a three member variables that is private, int, emp, id and, and private, private string, string EMP, emp name, name. at this at point this of point time two is enough, is enough because i just, I just want, want to show you how in real time we use this uh, uh, user defined user objects, objects for the array list i am going to create a constructor for this using the constructor the and then once i have a constructor i want to print this values so what, what I am doing, doing is public, public void, void display. display. In, this In this method, method I, will I will print these values. values. EMP, EMP ID, ID 
plus EMP ID and then EMP name plus EMP name but in real time project what will happen we will create otherwise I will do one thing in real way so we will have a setters and getters method this properties so we'll create setter uh, setters and getters because this is uh, exactly how real time uh, uh, scenarios works. works once you once have created a setter getter method here instead of employee id get employee id employee name you can use as a get employee name so that's how I have I created, have created a, employee a employee class, class. it has it two has properties, properties with one with constructor one and one display, display method, method to display, to display the, values. the values. Now so I am going, I'm to, going to use this class, class uh, uh, how, how we are going we are to implement the array, array list for the user defined object. object. Before, Before we, we add it to this uh, employee object to the list, we need to create an employee object. So let us go ahead and create employee objects. So employee equal employee one equal to new, new employee, employee of, of I am giving 101 and this I am giving as a shivari okay first, first object, object I created, created. like that like I am going, going to create, to create uh, uh, two more or uh, two, two more objects, objects. And I am giving and this one as EMP2 EMP3 here I am giving as a 2, 102 and 103 and uh, let us consider this is body 1 and 2 and 3 so now I created 3 employee objects now my intention is I would like to add these 3 employee objects to the list and then I need to iterate over through that um, list how to add it List, list dot, dot add, add emp one one then, then list, list dot, dot add, add emp two two next, next list, list dot, dot add, add emp three. three so now so I, added I added three employee, three employee object, object to the, to the list. list once, once I added, added I, need I need to create, to create an iterator, iterator to traverse three, three these, these uh, list. Uh, list. So iterator. Iterator. Iterator, iterator equal, equal to, to list, list dot, dot iterator. iterator. Once, Once you got, you the, got iterator, the iterator, you need, you need to, to loop, loop over, over through, through the while, while and uh, uh, to, to get, get the, the elements. elements. So, so iterator, iterator dot, dot has, has more, more so has, has next. next and next and one next is one in order, order to, to get, get the, the element, element you need to have, have a employee mp equal to employee let me write the statement then i will explain iterator iterator dot next so iterator dot next actually returns the object but we know that we added employee, employee object, object to the list, to the list. Hence, hence we need to downcast down this object to the employee, employee object. object once you once got you the got employee, employee object, object now what now you need what to do is employee, employee dot, dot display. display okay, okay. So, so now let us let go ahead and run this program, this program and see the output, the output. See, see employee, employee id 101 one, 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 shiva id 1 employee id 2 shiva id 2 and employee id 3 and shiva id 3 so, so this, this is how, how in real time, time scenarios, scenarios we work, we work with, with the array, array list. list but, in, but typically, in typically in the case in the of case real time scenarios, scenarios what will happen, will happen you are you going, are going to, to have a database, database layer, layer where, where you, you get, the get the all the employees from the database, database and, then and then you will you create, create a employee objects, objects and then and that employee object, object you will return to, to the list once, once you completed, completed that, that this list, list will be passed, passed to the front end where uh, front end like a java jsp or servlets where they will use this list and they will create a ui so that is how in real time scenarios it will work so at a high level array list is dynamically growable size second one is 
it is it going is to going maintain, to maintain the, insertion the insertion order, order. And third, third one is, one is whenever, whenever you have, have a project, project and, a requirement and a requirement is like, like you have to only traversing is the main uh, requirement for you then array list is going to be the best option thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video